you probably know that the officially correct wrist for a man to wear a watch is the left wrist. The debate about which wrist to wear a watch on has been going on for years, but it has become more common in recent years as social media has grown and more people post pictures of themselves wearing watches, sometimes on the wrong wrist. But why is it thought that the right wrist is the right wrist for a guy to wear his watch on? And why can't you wear your watch on any wrist you want? In this video, we'll look at why the left wrist is now thought to be the right wrist for wearing a watch and why you should wear your watch on the left wrist. Wearing the watch on the right wrist. Most people wear their wristwatch on the hand they don't use most. Because of this, many left-handed people like to wear their watch in their right hand. So, watch companies like Tudor made left-hand versions that are easier for left-handed people to wear by putting the crown and crown guards on the left side of the watch case instead of the right. Since most people are right-handed, they wear their watch on their left wrist. However, this isn't always the case. In reality, many people who are right-handed wear their watches on the right wrist, and many people who are left-handed wear their watches on the left wrist. Now, even if you disagree with the practical benefits of wearing a watch on your left wrist, it's easy to see why most people do it this way since most people are right-handed. Most people wear their watches on the hand they don't use most often. This has become the standard and is called, the right way to wear a watch. What most people do becomes the standard over time. The tradition of wearing watches on the left hand was created by a right-handed person because left-handed people have always been a minority in society. But the most important thing about the standard of wearing a watch on your left wrist isn't that someone decided that's how it should be done out of the blue. There are real, tangible benefits to wearing your watch in your left hand. Practical advantages. Putting your watch on your right hand can be helpful in a few ways. These benefits only apply to people who use their right hand, of course. Now, keep in mind that right-handed people came up with the law that you should wear your watch in your left hand, so I'll focus on them when I talk about the practical benefits of doing so. So, even though it's normal to wear a watch on the left wrist, a left-handed person would have to wear their watch on the right wrist to take advantage of these advantages. You're more active with your dominant hand. This is the main reason why so many people wear left-handed watches. If you wear your watch in your right hand, you are more likely to scratch or break it by accident because you use and move around with your dominant hand more. Also, if you are right-handed and wear your watch in your right hand, it could get in the way and make it harder to turn your wrist. Because of this, it will be hard to do things with your right hand while wearing your watch. For example, if you write with your right hand while wearing a watch, especially a big one, it can be hard and uncomfortable to write. Setting the time is easy. The majority of watches have the crown on the right side of the watch case. When the watch is worn on the left hand, the crown is easier to reach. This makes it easy to change the time. But it's almost impossible to change the time if you wear your watch on your right hand instead of your arm. This means that the watch has to be taken off to set the time. It's easier to see the time. When you do things, you use your right hand more if you have one. Because of this, it will be easier to quickly check the time while using your right hand for something else. It helps the movement of the watch. When you do things with your right hand, you naturally put more wear on the watch's movement than when you use your left hand. Hard shocks, which can hurt or even completely break the movement, tend to wear it out faster than other types of shocks. For example, if you wear your watch on your right wrist while using a hammer, the movement could get very shaken up, which would speed up the watch's wear and tear. The same is true when you throw something, play tennis. Yes, you use both hands, but your dominant hand is used most of the time, etc. You keep your watch safe from damage. The world is set up for right-handed people, so even though you are left-handed, it makes sense to wear your watch in your left hand. I've already mentioned in passing that you do most tasks with your right hand. Even if a person is left-handed, they may still use their right arm for many tasks throughout the day. This can cause scratches, especially on the metal case and bracelet. Door handles, scissors, watches, computer mice, and other things are all made for people who use their right hand. Wearing a NATO strap keeps your watch from falling off your wrist if a spring bar breaks. Because the watch is put in between the two layers of the strap, there will always be at least one spring bar to hold it up. If you want to learn more about NATO straps, check out our blog post, Everything You Need to Know About NATO Straps. You don't have to follow the stereotype and wear your watch on your left wrist, even if you are a right-handed person. The most important thing is that you do what makes you feel good. Even though the watch norm says that you should wear your watch on your left wrist, 
you can use the other wrist if this doesn't feel right to you. This is especially important for left-handed people because, in theory, a left-handed person wearing a watch on their right wrist should follow the same practical rules as a right-handed person wearing a watch on their left arm. Even though the left wrist is the most common, that doesn't mean it's the best choice for you. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel.